I'm Anil Kumar and I'm sharing with you some good questions from previous test papers. As you know, in most of my videos, we are working on real questions. The question here is, the area of rectangle is given by a equals to y square minus 11y plus 28. Provide an algebraic expression for length and width of rectangle. Part B is, if y represents 10 centimeters, determine area and perimeter of the rectangle. Right, so in this particular example, we'll also practice factoring techniques, right? So the idea is to factor and then solve, right? So that's the idea. We are given the area as a equals to y square minus 11y plus 28. We need to provide an algebraic expression for length and width of the rectangle. So think like this. We have a rectangle here. Opposite sides are equal. They are perpendicular. They are parallel sides, right? Let's say L and width. L is the length. W is the width. Area is what? Product of these two. So if I could write this expression as product of two factors, then I can relate it with my length and width. That's the whole idea, right? Now let's see how to factor it. To factor this, we are looking for two numbers whose product is 28. So when we multiply two numbers, let's say P and Q, we get 28. And if we add them, we should get minus 11. So the two numbers are 7 and 4, right? So 7 and 4. When you multiply, you get 28. But we need negative. So, so negative. Negative 7, negative 4 are the numbers for us, right? So what we will do here is, we'll write this expression as y squared minus. We'll split this 11y with these magic numbers, which is we have 7y and minus 4y, correct? So that is how we actually split this number and then factor further. Now that gives us four terms. We can combine the first two. y is common here. So we get y minus 7. From the other two, minus 4 is common. So we get y minus 7 there also. y minus 7 is a common factor. So we'll take y minus 7 and we're left with y minus 4. So now we have area in factored form. Do you get the idea? So each could represent side of a rectangle. So in this case, let me say this is y minus 7 and this side is y minus 4. Do you get an idea? Now it says provide an algebraic expression for length and width of rectangle. So from here we can say length is equal to y minus 4 and width is equal to y minus 7. Right? I hope this is absolutely clear. Right? So that's a good application of factoring and I hope with this example you understand how do we relate them. Now, part B of this question is, if y represents 10 centimeters, determine area and perimeter. So, first let's find length and width, then we can find area and perimeter. So, what we are given here is that y is equals to 10 centimeters. Now, we know length is equals to y minus 4. If I substitute 10 here, I get 10 minus 4, and that gives me 6, and the units are centimeter. Similarly, for width, I will substitute in y minus 7, value of 10, which is given to us for y. 10 minus 7 is 3, so we get 3 centimeters. Area is equals to length times width. So area will be equals to 6 centimeters times 3 centimeters. And that gives us 18 centimeters square. As far as the perimeter is concerned, it is twice length plus width. So that gives twice 6 plus 3. The units are centimeters, right? So we can add and multiply by 2. 9 times 2 is 18. And we get centimeter as the perimeter in this case. Well, you find both perimeter and area to be same, right? Except for the units. Anyway, so this example helps you to understand how we can represent sides or the dimensions of a rectangle with algebraic expressions. 
I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos and learn a lot. Feel free to write your comments and post questions. Thank you and all the best.